Hey everybody, welcome back to The Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? Last week, we reviewed Andrew Zimmern's Meatloaf with Mashed Potatoes, which was beef meatloaf topped with ketchup, mashed potatoes, and peas. And this is what it looked like after we heated it per the instructions on the box. If you don't like your petrified peas and your bland mashed potatoes touching, you're in trouble. The meatloaf was one positive thing out of this dish. Well, kinda. Even though it had a pretty overpowering herbal flavor to it, it was moist and delicious. The major problem with this meal was calling it meatloaf because it tasted absolutely nothing like any meatloaf I've ever had. It tasted more like meatballs with tomato sauce. Sometimes people ask me, how did you discover all this stuff? And the answer is really simple. I did something other people don't like to do. I asked for help. Well, I'd think again before asking for help with a meatloaf. So today, we're gonna try this delicious turkey dinner by Andrew Zimmern. And that really does look delicious with the rich brown gravy, the fresh green beans, and the mashed potatoes. Uh, I'm, t I'm giddy with excitement. Uh, I'm, t I'm giddy with excitement. Uh, I'm, t I'm giddy with excitement. This delicious turkey dinner contains roasted white meat turkey with mashed potatoes and green beans and comes in a 10.25 ounce box that costs $5.94 and is exclusively sold at Walmart. Here's the list of ingredients and I'm happy to say that the turkey is real turkey. There's no TVP to be found. The serving size is the whole tray, which has 300 calories, 11 grams of total fat, 6 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 75 milligrams of cholesterol, 920 milligrams of sodium, 26 grams of carbohydrates, 3 grams of fiber, 4 grams of sugars, and 23 grams of protein. The heated instructions are for the microwave only, and you're supposed to vent the film and then microwave on high for 4 minutes then after four minutes, give it a stir and then microwave for one more minute. Here's the turkey dinner right out of the box and there's no reason to vent the film as it looks like someone played soccer with the bowl and the film was already loose and vented. So now it goes into the microwave for four minutes on high. After four minutes, it's time to give it a stir and just like with the meatloaf dinner, there was no pride or thought to putting this meal together. It literally looks like someone got a handful of mashed potatoes and then a handful of green beans and then a handful of turkey and then a spoonful of gravy, poured it over, sealed it up and froze it. Go to a supermarket, look at what other people are eating. Go to a supermarket, look at what other people are eating. Well, if they go to the supermarket and look at the picture on your box and buy it because of the picture and then they open it up and see this crap, they're not going to be buying it anymore. I'm not trying to be disparaging, but a $2 banquet meal looks a lot better than this meal. So after giving it a good mix, it goes back into the microwave for one minute. Here's our Andrew Zimmern's roasted turkey with mashed potatoes and green beans dinner after microwaving for a total of five minutes. And it actually looks like slop. Well, there was really no reason, but we went ahead and gave it one more mix. And again, if you're one of those people that don't like your food touching, this meal is not for you. So it was really impossible to get a bite of one thing by itself. So we got a scoop of the mashed potatoes and the green bean and into the old pie hole and down the gullet it went. The consistency of the mashed potatoes, you could drink them with a straw. They were bland, but the bright spot was the green bean. Well, don't get your hopes too high up on the green bean. It was just that the green bean still had some texture to it and a little bit of flavor, but really no better than a green bean in a $2 banquet meal. So next we went in and got a little piece of turkey. And just like with the rest of the meal, it was impossible to get a bite of something without the mashed potatoes and the gravy on it. So into the old pie hole and down the gullet it went. And I'm gonna give credit where credit is due. The turkey was delicious. It was moist, tender, and full of flavor. So next we went in for a bite of everything together. 
the mashed potatoes, the gravy, the green beans, and the turkey. After cooling off for a few minutes, the mashed potatoes and the gravy thickened up somewhat, making the overall experience somewhat more enjoyable from a texture standpoint, even though it was still bland as a whole. So I went in to get another piece of the turkey by itself, because like I said, I liked it and I thought it was really good. The main problem I had with this meal and the meatloaf and mashed potatoes meal is how it's displayed on the box. It's presented really nicely on the box with a meal and two sides. But obviously, once you open up the box and you heat up the meal, that is not what you're getting. Like I said before, I don't mind if my food is mixed together. It doesn't bother me one bit, but there are people where it does bother them. And if they bought these meals based on the picture on the box, they're SOL. Just be honest and show the consumer exactly what they're getting, that the food is gonna be all mixed together. Banquet has mega bowls where the meal is all mixed together and that's exactly what they show on the box. They're not taking a picture of a nicely presented gourmet meal and posted it on the box. So considering the price, the quality, the amount of what you're getting, and the overall meal of itself, I'm giving Andrew Zimmern's roasted white meat turkey dinner with mashed potatoes and green beans a four out of 10. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you soon.